scientist Hunt is seen as the movie starts. He hires a former ex-marine turned mercenary DC for a specific mission. In fact, he has to go to Eastern Europe for mineral research, but that area was a war zone. Conflicts were rampant between the insurgencies and the army in that area. For his protection, he hires DC, so that he brings a team of mercenaries. But it was a complex mission. DC seals the deal with Hunt by taking advance payment. And he departs to that place with his team. His team was comprised of six soldiers, and each one had his own task. They were successful in bringing Hunt to that place. At that place, they observe an old military bunker. The mission of Hunt is to go inside that military bunker. Two soldiers stay outside to safeguard while others go inside to examine it. A soldier who is outside the military bunker senses something in the direction of the forest. And he starts firing at it. Then rest of the soldiers come outside the military bunker hearing the sounds of firing. But they see no one there. Suddenly, they hear a loud burst of radio frequency. They get irritated by it. A soldier receives a gunshot on his shoulder when he was trying to turn off the radio. As a result, he gets wounded. DC sends a soldier into the forest to check any presence, while another soldier takes the bullet from the shoulder of the wounded soldier. Coming back from the forest, the soldier informs that there is no sign of anything. Then DC assigns two soldiers to stay guard at the entrance of the bunker. And others again begin to inspect the military bunker by going inside. They find a generator inside the bunker, it is turned on by Hunt. Two of them reach a room that is filled with many dead bodies. They notice a hand moving in those dead bodies. They shout and call DC with fear. They find an alive man among the dead bodies. But he was not giving any response. It seemed that he was in great shock. He was looking very shocked. Later, they come to know that Bunker belonged to the Nazis. Here these Nazis used to do some sort of dangerous experiments on ordinary men. Then Hunt is asked, is there any connection with his research? Hunt clearly refuses it. DC ignores it because he had taken an amount for this task. A soldier takes that man into a room and makes him seated. A soldier keeps an eye on him. On the other side, Hunt goes to a room, where he sees a machine, which was very big and old. Here it is revealed, the purpose of Hunt's coming here is that machine. It means, he has come here in search of it. He used to serve an organization and was reporting to it. That soldier tries his best to reveal something from that person but he does not speak. He keeps quiet. A coin falls from the hand of that soldier. While he was picking it, he notices someone standing behind that man. He immediately holds his gun but no one was behind that man. At the same time, DC also arrives there. He sends that soldier into the radio room to repair the radio. Hunt feels the presence of someone standing at his backside when he was involved in his work. After turning back, he finds no one. He tries to leave in fear but the door was locked from the opposite side. He again feels the presence of someone at his back. Turning back, he again finds no one. Meanwhile, DC unlocks the door, reaching there. Then Hunt declares that his soldiers are making fun of him. Coming into that room, DC also knows the purpose of Hunt's arrival there. But he was unable to understand. What is in this machine that Hunt has come here putting his life at risk? Then Hunt tells him, during World War II, the Nazi military wanted to win the war, using this machine. The energy produced by that machine was controlled and stored in that room where the dead bodies were found. And these machines were not used in the current era. Now they have become rare. Another soldier hears the voice of someone in that room. While searching, he finds a wounded person there. Who vanishes immediately. Observing it that soldier comes to another one. He was thinking that he had seen a ghost. We see a soldier repairing the radio in the radio room. Suddenly all speakers of the bunker are turned on. And a German song starts playing. That soldier tries hard to turn off the radio but it does not stop. Then radio stops itself due to an electric short circuit. The sound of a bomb is heard outside the bunker but there we do not see any explosion. Then they observe that light has spread throughout the forest and many people were visible due to the light. And all those soldiers start firing indiscriminately. But they could not kill a single person there. Suddenly the wind begins to blow very fast and later the darkness prevails again. They notice one of their soldiers missing, and in that place, they see an iron cross. 
After seeing it they all are left astonished as to why is it happening as such. Who is doing all this? Because that iron cross was worn by Nazi soldiers. A soldier shows a bullet to DC which was very old and damaged. It was not easy to fire using that bullet. As it might kill that person who was firing it. They are all quite disturbed because of all these things. And DC points his gun at that man feeling very irritated. And that man for the first time moves his eyes toward DC, then DC goes towards Hunt, where he displays a movie to him with a projector. Then they discover that the Nazis were trying to revive the dead people using that device. It means they were playing with nature. And they wanted to create an immortal army. It means, they wanted to maintain their everlasting rule. In that task, they get success to a great extent. They used to take the soldiers to that room where the machine's energy had been stored. After giving that energy to them, they used to kill the soldiers. In spite of it, they were not dead. Those experiments were stopped when Germany lost the war. But those soldiers were entrapped there. And any person coming there was killed by those entrapped soldiers. Because they have been trained for that purpose only. Hearing it, DC orders them to leave from there. Then Hunt tells him, they cannot leave easily from there. Because the organization had the details of all soldiers for which he was working. They will kill their families if they go leaving this mission incomplete. Hunt tells him that he has also hired one more team of soldiers for this mission and they are about to come here after some time. Then DC hears the shouting of someone. When he checks, he knows that he is the same soldier who has been disappeared. His voice was coming from the forest. SS troopers were torturing and putting him to death. Now they all become very alert. Hunt receives a message that another team of soldiers will reach there within 72 hours. But he keeps it a secret without sharing it with anyone. All the mercenaries were hiding quietly. Suddenly, an SS trooper comes there and catches a soldier and he also kills him. In the morning, they find the attached heads of the two dead soldiers and it was a clear-cut warning for them. They also thrust a bullet into the eye of a soldier. DC orders to leave from there when he witnesses them. And he sends another soldier to call Hunt. But when that soldier goes to call him, suddenly SS trooper lifts that soldier with a pickaxe and sticks him on the wall. Afterwards, he kills by crushing him. Hunt fires a gun on him but it was futile. Hearing the firing sound, other soldiers also come there. They also start shooting him. But he immediately disappears from there. Hunt also shows the movie to others but they do not believe in ghosts. And they see the same man in the movie, he is none other but the alive man in the room. His name was Brigadier Goods. After knowing the truth, a soldier kills him. He does not lose his breath even after receiving the gunshot on his head. Suddenly lights go off there. Goods disappears from there taking that soldier. When they go out they observe their partner dead. And number 4 was written on him. It means the Nazis have conveyed that, now only four soldiers were left. They all understand that they were entrapped in great trouble. And there is no way to escape from there. Now they plan to entrap that Nazi army by using that machine. They all prepare themselves to trap Nazis. Hunt makes that machine operative by repairing it. The light spreads once more throughout the forest. And those SS troopers reach there. At this time, their leader Gutz was also seen with them. They start firing when the Nazi army begins to move towards them. But gun firing does not harm them. Nazis come near that military bunker. Those soldiers also move into that bunker and the Nazi army follows them. They become successful to bring the Nazi army to that machine. But one more soldier dies during this operation. Then surviving soldiers bring the Nazi party to that machine. Later Hunt starts that machine. That machine converts the Nazi army numb by releasing radiations. They all become happy because of their struggle. Immediately there we see an electrical short circuit and that device gets stopped. All the Nazis get activated again. And they kill a soldier by catching him. By going inside the room DC locks himself with Hunt. But he was badly injured now. Hunt asks him to leave through the ventilator but he could not walk. So he lets Hunt to leave and he himself faces the Nazi army. But he is also killed by them. On the other side, Hunt reaches the